Hi, friends! Welcome back. Today we're going to learn a few things about outer space. Are you ready? Let's do it. Do you know what shape this is? You're right. It's the sun. Let's choose orange to begin with. We're going to take out orange play-doh and flatten it out. Now, let's take our mold of the sun and cut out the play-doh. There we go! That looks like the flames from the sun. With our yellow play-doh, we're going to make a circle. This will be the inside of the sun. That's it, boys and girls! It's coming together! This is a yellow sun with orange flames! Our sun is very happy, so we're going to make a smiley face. Boys and girls, we did it! We made one hot, happy sun! The sun helps to warm our day, but exactly how hot is the sun? The center of the sun is 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, which means no life could ever live on it. Boys and girls, with our second mold, we're going to make the planet Earth. That's where we live. First, let's roll and flatten out blue Play-Doh. This will represent the water. Now that we have our planet Earth, let's add some green. This will represent the land. We're going to cut out pieces of the land and add it to the planet Earth. Now we're going to add little specks of white to our planet. These pieces of white represent clouds, ice, and snow. Boys and girls, I think we did it! Our planet Earth is complete! The Earth is the third closest planet to the Sun. It is also the only planet known to have life on it, like you and me. Now, my friends, we're going to use the white Play-Doh to create something that leaves our Earth and goes all the way into space. Can you guess what it is? If you guessed a rocket, you're right! We're going to make a rocket ship. Most rockets are white for a reason. White reflects the sun, which stops the rocket from overheating. Even so, we're going to decorate our rocket just a little bit. Let's make the head of our rocket blue. Let's also add some blue to our rocket's wings. Now let's also add some fancy windows so that our brave astronauts inside can look out.
Let's complete our rocket by adding hot flames at the bottom. Once these hot flames create an explosion, the rocket is then launched into space. There we go! Our rocket is now complete and ready for takeoff. When a rocket launches, it travels at a speed of 7 miles per second. That's exactly like running through 120 football fields in one second. Now let's create the star. We're going to start off by using yellow Play-Doh. Flatten it out and cut out the mold. We're almost finished. Let's give our star a happy face. Our star will have two bright eyes. And one big smile. Here he is, my friends. One bright star. My friends, I don't think it's possible to count the amount of stars in the sky. But scientists have estimated that there are around 200 billion trillion stars in our universe. That's a whole lot of stars. I think it's time to create another planet. This planet has a ring around it, so we know for sure it's Saturn. Let's mix our green and red Play-Doh together because we need the color brown. Saturn has a few colors in it, so after we flatten it out, let's add some orange. Let's also add some specks of yellow to our planet and mix it all together. Now let's cut out the planet Saturn. Let's mix brown and black together. We can use this color to make the ring around Saturn. We're going to flatten out the Play-Doh again and cut out Saturn. And let's use our sharp tool just to outline Saturn's ring. There we go, my friends. Let's add the ring to our planet. And let's give our planet a little more detail. This looks really cool. Great job, my friends, creating Saturn. My friends, did you know that the rings around Saturn are not actually solid? They're made up of tiny bits of ice, dust, and rocks. While some of these pieces are smaller than a grain of sand, others are taller than a skyscraper. Amazing! Finally, my friends, let's create the moon! For the moon, let's flatten out some yellow Play-Doh. There we go! Our moon looks perfect! But he's going to need some sunglasses because it's so bright! Here we go! Now the moon can see a little bit better. Our moon is happy with its sunglasses. Let's add a big, beautiful smile. There we go, my friends. One smiling moon. Did you know, my friends, that the moon gets its light from the sun? The moon is actually one big, dusty ball of rock. But once the sun reflects on the moon, it illuminates and lights up our sky in the night. My friends, thank you so much for learning about space with me. I hope you learned a few things and enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.